Hey, Chad Madden here with Breakthrough. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a scorecard just like this to guide your hiring processes. So what you're gonna get out of that is you're gonna get your team more aligned when you start using scorecards. Uh, and they're gonna be aligned around your vision, your goals for your private practice. It's also gonna help you go from top down, I told you so management style to the point where you have team members who are autonomous and more solution oriented. They're not bringing all the problems to you. Ultimately, what this does for you is it's gonna result in more time freedom. So to grab a copy of this scorecard, the actual scorecard, one of the actual scorecards that we use in private practice, click the link below this video. What a scorecard is, if you've read the book, um, Who, W-H-O by Randy Street and Jeff Smart, it basically is a tool, a personnel tool that you're gonna use in all of your personnel decisions. So hiring, incentivizing staff, firing, promotions, et cetera. Um, everything revolves around the use of this tool. So really, really important. And you know, our real role as private practice owners, especially for those of us that are beyond that self-employed mentality, but if we're thinking about scaling and growing um, an organization is, our, our real role is organizers of people. This is the most important tool to help us do that. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through the scorecard here so you understand uh, what it is, why to use it, and you get more out of it. So uh, essentially at the top here, we have the role name. It could be, you know, you could have physical therapist in here, PTA, tech, uh, receptionist, uh, billing specialist, et cetera, but that is gonna be, you know, your role name, pretty self-explanatory. Role mission, you're gonna walk through exactly what it is that you expect uh, this position to produce for your organization. And then we have accountability. So for every accountability, we have a metric. Um, this is the actual scorecard of uh, one of our internal marketers. And he went a little crazy here on accountabilities. You want at least three in here, right? Um, but there's lots to pull from there. The next one, we have our competencies, pretty self-explanatory. And then um, by the way, this is a living, breathing document. So every quarter or however often you do your uh, your team member, your employee reviews, these competencies can change based on the position and uh, the progression of the person in the position. And then we have company values. Uh, we've now gone from seven core values down to three, but you get the idea here. There's uh, a lot of work in, uh, you know, if you go to Jim Collins, Good to Great, or any work by Patrick Lencioni, constantly talking about who is in the room, how do they qualify to be in the room? What are your core values? These are the core values that um, we had in the past. Again, we modified it down to a top three, but that is what's in a scorecard. Uh, very simple to lay out when you start thinking about it, but just wanted to give you an overview of the framework that is in it so you can more effectively use this tool in growing your organization. And I wanna walk through with you where hiring a marketing person fits in uh, to the overall marketing uh, roadmap. So, you know, in the very beginning, we, we talk about uh, in the early stages of private practice, that minor league stage in the first year or two, where you're trying to figure everything out. You know, ba basically we start with a trickle of new patients. Maybe we have a doctor or two that's referring to us, but we don't really know how to go direct to the consumer yet. We have some basic steps there, right? Um, and then major league, just to review, that's the next level up. That's where we're typically still our business. Uh, we know we need systems in place. We might have eight or, let's say 12 team members, we're usually stuck, we hit a wall around a million dollars a year in revenue or so, but um, that's where we need, we know that we need systems. And then when we get to all-star, right, that's where we have a true organization, a true business. Uh, we have systems in place, we have the right team member in place as well. We've now figured a lot out in, ter in our terms of our market. We know what marketing channels work when we go uh, direct to the consumer. We have a wide referral base uh, from physicians if we have physician referrals and we're not relying on any single uh, referral source. And so that marketing hire, that's one of the very last things that we do as a private practice owner um, as we're building out our system. So um, again, this is the roadmap. J just wanted to take a second to give you the context of exactly what you're building here. You're gonna have to uh, figure out and probably know a lot of things before you bring in that uh, cold marketing person. Um, especially if they have a lot of training to go through, you're probably gonna have to work through some of those processes um, yourself first. So anyhow, thought this would be beneficial to you, give you the big scheme 
uh, the, the overall picture, the 30,000 foot view of where uh, a marketing hire fits into um, to your roadmap. 